Hello everyone, welcome back to our Beagle Framework video tutorial. My name is Li Cao. We will talk about Beagle, the Go HTTP framework for developing application rapidly. This is our second tutorial. Last week is the first time I made the video tutorial. Hope you guys like it. Today we will talk about routing system in Beagle. I will split it to three parts. This is our first part. Yesterday, Beagle released the latest version 1.2.0. In this new release, we introduced many very cool changes for router, for router, such as namespace, and also we will support more flexible routers. We will talk about those features later in next in the third part of this uh, routing system tutorial okay here is what we will talk about today in part one we will talk about Beagle's application flow and uh, what is the router router and Beagle's router processor function types. So here is Beagle application flow. After you run your Beagle application from man.go, it is listening to the HTTP port you set in the configuration. When the application receives the incoming request, the, the application will find the function according to the router settings for the request. It will find this controller or function. And then if the function being found, the request will be checked and filtered by the parameter filter such as check if it is a valid user or valid parameters based on the, all the requests. After filtering, the request will flow into the controller. Then the application can process this request logic by using Beagle's, all, all Beagle's modules such as mode and uh, login, cache, session control, and uh, many other modules. After finishing the logic in the controller, the flow goes to the output filters, if you have. And at, at last, it will output the response. So this is the basic uh, Beagle application flow. If you want to see more detailed application flow you can go to our document and we see introduction you will see you will see this chat it's more detailed by the way this chat is not the latest the latest version yet since we just released the bigger 1.2.0 yesterday we will update it uh, later so let's go back to so what is a router router in one sentence with you finding the function for the requested URI to process the request such as there's the get request And the URI is a V1 shop making. And the processor function is the shop controller get function. So there are two important parts. One is URI, one is the processor function. Today we will just talk about the processor function, which is this part shop controller and get. Of course, it can be other function types. So here is Beagle's 
Reuters processor function types. It has three three types. The first one is function level rest for the routers. The second one is controller level automatic routers. The third type is more flexible handler router. For all the function who implemented serve HTTP function uh, interface. It also supports the uh, other Go li library, not only the Go's function, only if they implement the Go's native serve HTTP uh, interface. So, the first one, function level restful routers. We, it, it have all the uh, all the standard HTTP request method such as get, post, delete, and uh, options and all the others. It will map one root path, which is a, a string router, to a function. After uh, by the, by those functions, you can set the router in function level. This INA function will set all those methods to one uh, ru uh, router string. So this is the first type, function level. So the second type is uh, controller level, controller level automatic routers. This is same as the uh, we we talked about last uh, uh, in the first uh, tutorial. It will set by router function. So here we defined a uh, object controller which in, embed one uh, bgo dot controller. In bgo dot controller, it uh, it already uh, implemented all the a lot of uh, functions such as get, post, delete. And uh, here we override uh, the bgo's controller's default function. So we set up, we get some uh, objects from database, from modules, and the set the data. And we output the JSON. And uh, here we use vgo.router, set the object URI to object controller, which we define here. So in this, in this router, when the user visit object, it will go to the object. If it's get method, it will go to the get the get function here of the object controller. So here, as you can see, all those functions name are standard standard HTTP method such as get, post, delete. So what if we want to use our custom, uh, our custom uh, function name. Then we need the mapping your routers. So, in this mapping routers, we still using router function same as here, but we have the third uh, parameters here. So the third parameter is the uh, is the uh, Mapping the the we set up the uh, uh, HTTP method here and uh, separate the function name with with colon. So for this router, it will when the user visit API slash create, it will go to REST uh, controller, and it it will find the create food function uh, if the user is visited by post method. So in this router, if it's a post method request, then it will find the update food function in REST controller, same as delete. And here you can see the star which which will map all the, all the uh, 
HTTP, HTTP request method. No matter what method is, it will always run this leak bit full. So, also you can set multiple HTTP methods mapping to the one function, such as here. We set both get and post function uh, method to function API func. So when you visit API, it will, no matter it's get or post method, it will both go to API function. Also, you can use different HTTP method map to different functions separate by the semicolon. In this router sample, it will, when it's get method, it will use get function. If it's post method, it will use post function. So this is all the available settings for the mapping routers as we did, uh, set, set it here. So this star include all the methods below, which have get, post, put, post, and all the other functions. Uh, one thing you need to uh, can, uh, note is if both star and uh, HTTP methods map, matched. HTTP method have high priority and uh, will run first. For, for, for example, here we set the star all function to map to all function and the post map to post function. If they, here is the post request to simple uh, URI, it will run this post function other than the all function. So this is uh, mapping routers. So the third, the third root uh, processor function type is the very flexible handler router. It to accept all the function who implemented the serve HTTP the handler, you can use handler function to map the router to the HTTP handler, uh, the serve HTTP function. So the next one is the automatic router. So the automatic router is, we use auto router function. We only need to set the controller, such as object object controller. It will map to when when the URI is object login. It will automatically call the login method in object in object controller. Here is the controller stand for the controller, and the the second uh, URI is stand for the my third, my third name, same as object logout. It will map to logout method in object controller. So, except the two, the first two prefix mappings, the rest of the URL will be saved in the, will be treated as the parameter and saved in the input parameter error variable, such as in this URI, object block is the, uh, is the controller and the method, and all the three, 2013 and uh, 09 and 12, is saved to the parameter, saved into a map, uh, a map variable. So, also this login, this login and logout method will be uh, converted to lowercase. So, object login will also map to login method. So it's case insensitive. So one more thing is 
for the automatic router uh, for API tag parsing. So all the URL below will be sent to simple function in controller. And you can get the extension by by this dot ctx context dot input the parameter ext. And uh, so auto prefix. This auto prefix is is useful uh, when you do make uh, make some API or some uh, pretty complicated uh, URL structure. As you can see here, these two uh, parameters will map to, will, the first URI, the part of URI will concern as the controller and the second will concern as the method. So what if, if happen if you have a, you have a URI like this? You have a version, your API version, and you have a controller, and you have a method. So this v, v1 will be treated as the controller name, which is wrong. So we can set up the some uh, the first parameter set up as the prefix, such as the v1. Then. Uh, Except this, it will work same as the auto router because it will just uh, ignore the prefix when the URI uh, is mapping. Okay, thank you guys. This is our is the first part of the the routing system for B Beagle framework. See you next time. I will make the second expert part as soon as possible. Thank you guys.